Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this um, video time lapse and a little bit of a tutorial, I guess not so much, I'm going to show you how I painted a planting pot. And this pot was from is for my dad's birthday. He's not supposed to hear that, so shh. But basically, I started off with taping around the pot, around the border, so that the paint doesn't get on it and I get a clean cut. And I'll talk a little bit as I go. So I guess it is kind of like a tutorial. And then after I finished taping everything, I painted the first layer, which was just the sky, and it was light blue, and then I also added the ocean. Okay, so basically what I'm painting on the spot is um, three landmarks that we have been to as a family that he really enjoys. So one is the Utah um, Arch, Arc. I don't know. And um, then I'm also going to paint the Grand Canyon and the Golden Gate Bridge. Also, I'm sorry I didn't get everything on camera because my camera died like three times, but it's pretty easy to see, I guess. Okay, so what I am using is just normal acrylic paint, but if you're planning to put the spot outside, then consider maybe using um, multi-purpose paint or special paint. But since this is going inside with like a little house plant it's, that doesn't need much watering, it's going to be fine. I did, however, use multi-purpose paint for the for the sky and the ocean because it was such a big, um, big coloring piece that I just didn't want to use up all my acrylics on that. Here you can see a small close-up of me doing one of the highlights and after that I will be um, putting in the mountains on the back and then outlining the whole thing in a thin black line and what this does is it gives the picture a finished kind of perfect look. The reason I'm not going to outline the mountains on the back is because I want um, the viewer to focus his or her attention on the front piece on the foreground rather than the background, which doesn't need as much attention or detail. Okay, so this is where my camera died and you kind of missed me drawing the grass and the first piece of the Golden Gate Bridge, but you can see where I'm starting off from the second a little back piece and I love this part of the pot because um, it really shows dimension, what's close and what's in the back. So I know guys, I haven't been posting any variety videos, they've all just been me painting and I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to spice it up a little bit, I'm gonna upload a makeup video very soon, but I just, I was painting a few things and decided why not to film them, why not post them since, you know, I haven't posted that much either lately, but please give this a thumbs up, put it in the comments below if you do enjoy this type of video of just watching me paint or talking through it. And please, if you have any ideas or requests or suggestions, then also put that in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Here I'm starting on the last and final piece of the pot, which is the Grand Canyon. Okay, so once again my camera died, I didn't get to record how I outlined the Grand Canyon, but I will have moved on to clouds. Oh my god, my favorite thing to paint is clouds. It just gives anything so much more life and dimension and everything. And as you can see, once again, I'm not outlining the clouds to give them a softer, less vibrant look. Then I peeled off the tape and I put a dark blue border around this. And then I didn't record um, how I also put a dark blue border around the very top. But you'll see in the video after this how it looks finished. 
Alright guys, so this is the finished piece. As you can see, I also added some seagulls and the little plate below the pot also has a blue border and this kind of gives it a um, more combined look together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!